What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to use these wiggle transitions. To install these, all you have to do is save the downloaded folder in your motion templates titles folder because it's a titles plugin and it will show up here in your titles tab. To do that, what you have to do is open up your finder and go up here to go and then go to home, go to movies, motion templates, titles and I've got it saved just right there. So once you go back into Final Cut Pro, then it will show up here in your titles tab. And this is Final Cut Pro 10.4, so it's the newest update. Here are my two shots over here that I want to transition between. And I'm just going to go over here to the titles tab, go to wiggle, and let's make this a bit bigger. I'm just going to drag number two in there and place that over my two shots. And it's going to give it that wiggle transition effect. And then what you can even do with these is overlap them to create like different uh, movements, which is pretty cool. Number one, put that over there and you get that sort of effect. To finish this off, what I'm going to do is add a bit of motion blur. I'll leave the link to this in the description. It's a free download. Um, you just want to save it in your titles folder again. And I'm just going to drop the motion blur over like that. And then as you can see, it adds like a nice blur effect. So yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like before all the color correction and all of that stuff. It looks pretty cool. This is what my timeline looked like for the little intro edit. We've got a load of wiggles, um, a float, which also comes in the download folder. It's more of like a floating effect on your video clip instead of like um, a harsh shake. And then I've also got some smooth transition layers in here mixed with the wiggles. And then on top of that, I have the motion blur and then my color correction in the adjustment layer. And with the motion blur on this, I usually add it right at the end because it's quite hard to render sometimes. And when you're doing really complex edits like this, I uh, recommend you edit with proxy files because it's just gonna um, help with any lag or anything you've got going on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All the links are down below for this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.